Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Intune.Training, the place to learn how to use Microsoft Intune, the Steve and Adam show. It's Steve and Adam. I'm Steve. That's Adam. Adam. Still, we still, we've not changed it at all. Still us. Welcome yep. to the party, we'll, folks. We'll figure it out. Uh, all right. to hour six Cont of recording videos. <laughs> we just love it. <laughs> It's not really, yeah. but hey. I just really need Netflix to come out with another show that I need to go watch. That's all. I have nothing else to do, so this is what we get. You're welcome, but if Netflix comes out with something better, I'm out. Um, that's the reality. <sighs> sure. Well, here we go. So um, today, so we we're so welcome to the reboot. We still we're still doing it. Um, yep. Today we are going to be delving into Android related things um Ooh, this robots. video if we do this right um we learned our lesson from our uh, mac and apple uh, ios video we didn't break out this piece into a separate bit so there's a there's a bit where you have to connect the google play store to intune that we're going to do in this video and then we'll do android device enrollment in the next one so uh Not ideally scenario for android and device and enrollment Right. And, and ideally we get this right. Uh, and we don't have to, we don't miss anything in this video that you have to then go back and reference. And so, um, anyway, watch the next one in case you in case we miss something. Cause, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> we never know. <laughs> We're trying. Um, there's a high level of confidence here. Right. Um, one of us has a lot of confidence in himself. Uh, <laughs> that'd be that guy. I have I don't I've never touched it. I don't have an Android over here. All right. So anyway, we're gonna jump into Android and Google Play and all those things. Um Steve's gonna drive because otherwise I'll fall asleep at the wheel, probably. Um, but also I will say, and we'll probably mention it again in, in the next one. There is a uh there is another video that we did with a guest, uh Leon Ashton Leatherland, that it was two and a half hours or whatever of all of this all in one yes. big uh, marathon video thank you still leon for that because um uh, comprehensive isn't even the right word for it um yep. so uh if you you know if you want to go back and watch that one things are old in that one but i think a lot of the concepts and a lot of the discussion around that still is valid um okay. but we're gonna you know kind of cut this one short and just jump into the most relevant bits that the majority of the folks are um, going to use. Uh, I know Leon covered pretty much every different enrollment type and provisioning type and things, and that's not going to be the scope of this round. Um, so anyway, hey, just for reference, if you need that, you can go back to that. Yep. Yeah, we, we may include parts of those videos um, or parts of those concepts in future videos. But right now, today's video is about setting up the store, getting it connected so we can publish applications so that when we get to the next video, which is registering a corporate owned fully managed user device uh you'll be able to follow along and do stuff <clears throat> so from a starting point uh i i'm going to jump straight in here uh the easiest place for us to set this up uh, is we go to devices and we're going to go to this new device blade and we'll see our android option up the top here <clears throat> from him here we're going to go and select android enrollment Uh, and you'll see that we have the ability to do enrollment notifications. So this is where you get told that a device has been registered. It's like, cool, but that's not what we want to talk about. We want to talk about the managed Google Play. Because right now, all of these are all grayed out, except for these bits down the bottom. Don't use these ones. Well, these ones here are newer. They, they, they can be used. This one here, Android Device Administrator, should only be used in very specific and unique support cases. Um, but it is in the process of being decommissioned. So avoid it at all costs. So we're going to select the Google Manage Play, <coughs> uh, Manage Play, Managed Google Play Store. Uh, I am definitely agreeing to that. Uh, and we're going to then launch the Google to connect now. Uh, we're going to sign in. Uh, hopefully we should be able to just use not that account. Uh, I will be using this account and this should hopefully sign it all in and sort everything out. Uh, I'll need to edit that out and make it all nice and neat. 
So it's saying that it's all set up by the looks. Uh, no. Uh, G Suite is not currently supported for managed Google Play accounts. Please use a non-G Suite account. Okay. So this is where I have G Suite set up on that account. Uh, we'll talk through that in a later video. So we're just going to use a different account. No, I don't want to use that. Uh, just bear with me, viewers. Uh, and we're going to select this one. Hopefully this one will do what we need it to do. <clears throat> cool. Um, so what you'll see here, yes, Adam? No, carry on. I was going to put um, some filler in there if it was going to take you a minute, so carry on. Nope. Um, so what you're seeing here is we have the ability to complete sign up. So we're going to hit that. Um, we'll, we'll talk about G Suite and the Google uh, Manage Google Objects in a later video because we actually can bring some of that data into uh, Intune now, and we'll talk through that, as I said, in a later video. So that will be a different route of managing Google OS. We'll get there. So that's now set up, and you'll see that these four items have lit up. Pretty straightforward. The other thing that we're going to go and click on is we're going to go to apps. In the apps, what we're going to see in here, uh, and we're going to date this video very quickly. Oh, actually, look, all of my previously uh, enabled apps have automatically come through. So this is the same account we used on the previous tenant, and it's gone and published it. So what we're going to do, though, is we're going to go in here, we're going to add, uh, and we're going to go Managed Google Play Store. So one thing to note here is there's this nice little blue text here. And at time of uh, recording, this is like still reasonably relatively new data uh, where the process has changed. So if you've done it previously, it has changed. You need to go through and have a look at this. What we're going to do, what the crux of it is now you just hit select. And it's going to go off and do an iframe and give you the ability to see everything instead of opening it up in another page. So we're going to go in here. We can go. Uh, and so, so, so as you're doing this, Steve, question. Um, so for those of us who've done it through Apple Business Manager or through the older Windows Store for Business, um, this looks like you don't have to, you're not doing this from another, another portal and then syncing it over. You're doing it embedded in Intune. I mean, technically yeah. it is another portal you're syncing it from, but, uh, but you're not, it, it's all, um, a seamless experience directly within the entry portal, which is cool. Yeah. So we can go in here. Uh, this OEM config stuff is actually pretty cool, but it requires explicit hardware to be able to do that demo, which we don't have. Um, although we may be able to do the Knox plugin, but that's we won't go through that today. So I'm going to just select a simple app because I can't be bothered searching to see if we've got it installed or not. Uh, I'm going to go and select the Cisco Secure Client because that will be useful in a future video, hopefully. So in here, it, you can see that it uh, offers the managed configuration. So we can go and deploy it out and put some automatic configuration in there. Um, so we're going to select that. And that should be it, is my understanding based on the documentation that's been updated. Um, so wouldn't you like to get paid to make that logo? Uh, like yes. somebody, got, somebody got paid for that i'd say more than one somebody got paid for that <laughs> a whole committee probably yeah so we've selected that that should come through is my understanding so if we hit sync and we go refresh uh if we go cisco and if i can spell it right there it is you can see there's our only connect um, and that's come through successfully. Happy days. Um, so all as you can see, all of our apps are all set up and we now have the ability to do that full control for Android applications and deploy those applications. Um, that's pretty much it for what we're looking for a demonstration to set up the um, managed Google Play. Um, which is basically what we've not set up. We've set up now. So success. Um, you can do scope tagging. 
but then we'll talk around the other Android and Chrome OS options. So what we've just done there, um, viewers, is we actually went through tenant administration as well, which allows us to go and see more information about what's going on. So if we go back to devices, just to close the circle of what we were talking through initially, if we go to Android, we go to Android uh, enrollment, what we will see in here now is you'll also see the zero touch enrollment is enabled. Um, we don't have that set up in our tenant because of various reasons, um, but this is where we can go through and we can select each of these which we will go through in a future video, which will be directly after this one, which we will talk around the corporate owned, fully managed user devices. Cool. Awesome, well done. Yay, it's a snackable. Um, Whatever that means, yes. It's Great. a 10 minute video. Yes. All right, well, thanks, Steve. Uh, stay tuned Thank for how to, how to enroll a device next. Indeed.